All right, so as always, centering is crucial. You wanna make sure it's as centered as possible. I've seen a lot of you who have gained some skills on the wheel. Um, centering is still a little bit off. Um, I helped somebody the other day. They said I can throw, I just, my centering's not that great. Part of it was they were trying to use too much power. They were using their arms out here, but it's always elbow in the body. Use your body weight to make sure it holds still. So it's kind of a ebb and flow or a switch between side pressure and top pressure. So when I push down on the top, it's pushing that clay down and out into my hand, and that's where I get the side to hold still. So here, and I can cone up too with two hands. So that way I don't have to use a whole lot of strength and then cone back down. Especially if you're using recycled clay, um, it helps a lot, kind of evens everything out as far as dryness or moisture levels. Okay, now we're centered. As with everything, it's always just a cylinder. So I'm opening, and now it's a little dry. I'm gonna make sure my floor is nice and flat. I'm pulling towards my belly button. I want to open it as wide as I want the bottom of my mug to be. So this is how wide my mug's going to be, right here. I'm going to compress the bottom, just to make sure I have a nice flat floor and also don't end up with any cracks. And you can add like a little decorative swirl in there, so I just take my finger really quickly, make a little swirl. If you're not close enough to see, just scoot in. So now I'm going to recenter because I kind of knocked it off when I opened, knocked it off center and I want to make sure it's centered before I start pulling up. That'll make it nice and even and that way I utilize all the clay and don't have to cut any off. I may end up having to cut some off but I want to try to use all of it. So now my first pull I'm going to do a power pull or the crab claw. So I'm going to squeeze while pushing with the sponge. And I'm going to carry it up. I get most of my mug pull in this first pull. Okay, and that wasn't even that big of a pull. But usually about three pulls is what it takes. Doesn't matter if it takes you 20, that's fine. Let's slow this down just a little bit. It's all about wheel and hand speed. I want my hands to go pretty slowly as I climb up. So I'm really compressing the bottom there as I pull. So I see this little round spot I have down here? I still have a lot of clay there. I'm gonna add a little bit more water and get the slip off my sponge. A little bit of water on the inside to my inside hand. Now watch how I compress at the very bottom. I'm gonna use my finger to push all that clay in. And now I'm pushing a little bit out from the inside to get that little bulge there. Then I just carry that up and my hands stay together. So now I have my cylinder. I'm going to trim off a little bit on the bottom. And now it's time to shape it. And you can do a lot of really cool things. Say I left this like this, um, I would use the smooth rib to clean up the outside. Use this to clean it up if I was going to keep this shape. Um, thin it out a little bit as well. But. Uh, just trimming can add a lot of accents to this. I could trim a really sharp edge down on the bottom the next day, like after I let it dry, to leather hard before I put my handle on it. And again, a mug must have a handle, otherwise it's not a mug, it's just a cut. So, Kaylee selected this one, so this is the one we're gonna make. I'll show you how to do these little alterations. Um, so first I have to belly out my mug, which is good because it adds a lot of volume. I don't, it's not some weird term, but volume as far as like how much liquid it can hold inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand inside. I'm gonna push a little belly out right here. Hold on. Sorry, you're in this match, so. <laughs> Just wanna make sure I pulled all this clay up real quick. Yeah, we're pretty good. It's kind of thin there. Okay, so now I'm gonna push this out with my inside hand. Push it out water inside so my handle slide. Push it out. Then I'm going to come up slowly. 
That's the main thing I'm doing these little bellies. Some people will push them out and they get scared because they see it start to wobble. You just gotta hold still. So I push and go very slowly up until it has a little belly. Gonna get the water out of the inside while I still can. If you leave water inside, it'll find a way out. So don't leave too much water. A little bit of water, it'll just absorb into the clay. But if you leave too much, it'll literally develop a crack somewhere on the sides and find its way out. So now I'm gonna collar in the top a little bit. So I'm just doing three points of pressure. One, two, and three. So I want that to go in a little. Do a little pull just for shape. And I like thicker lips, uh, but if you wanna thin the lip, I don't like them too thick, otherwise they cause a spill. But if you wanna thin it, I just use my sponge and my finger and just pinch it a little bit. Okay. So I could just use this shape if I wanted. Um, I could use my rib to make a quick line. Literally just the, the edge on your smooth rib. I just hold that little corner in there like so. And that makes one line. Then I just kind of use the rounded side and form the lip to it. Pull the lip over. Okay, you could stop here. But we're gonna get into some pretty wild little alterations real quick. I always clean that line up with a sponge. So usually I heat gun this because it's still a little sticky or I could wait for it to dry for about 20 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the stickiness and all. So I'm gonna take the wooden rib, it's kind of rounded, so don't use the metal rib. You can use it for different things. Try different things, experiment with it. I don't expect you to just stop at one mug, like, okay, I got it, I just call it quits. Make a few, don't play it safe. But um, you could use a metal rib, but for this, for the sake of this specific pattern, it tends to cut holes in the sides of your, your pots. So I'm gonna keep this as vertical as I can, and I'm gonna push this in. And some people look at it and go, oh man, he's destroying his, his pot. Um, we'll get it back in order in just a second. So now I've got one on that side. I'm going to go exactly straight across from that one. I'm going to go on the other side. You can see it right here. I'm going to push in. And once I push that in, I lift up just a little bit. I slide up just to get it unstuck from the clay. So now I've got one on each side. Now I need one about 45 degrees off from that one or just in between those two, whatever's easiest to comprehend. And then one more. Okay. And you just wanna make sure they're kinda of even, especially as far as height. So now we've got four lines. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect each one. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of this one and I'm gonna roll it up until I hit the point up there. So at the very top of that line. So I'm gonna take this push in and again this works a whole lot better when it's a little less wet but this will work too okay there's one and connect the next one and I just roll it back and forth and you can do any number of lines if you want to do more than four like I started with four vertical lines and you'll see how I piece it back together as well because I'm kind of mauling it right now. So there are my four lines. Okay, slowly spin it so you can see it. But you can see it's all out of whack, right? So now we're going to bring it back into center by just holding my finger right here. And I like to clean the lip up at the end. holding still, just kind of pulling it slightly. Make sure everything's clean. And these are actually really easy to trim too. I know the swirl mug, some people like that, but it's kind of difficult to trim. It's hard to get centered. But these are really easy to trim. It looks really nice in the end. Um, so you can see the bottom is trimmed out. Sometimes, like, if I did it this wet, you can see some chunks in there too. Um, I may take some sandpaper after it gets to bone dry and just kind of sand them out a little bit just to clean things up. So that's one of many options. And any of these, just ask, please. Thank you, Ashley.